Hello all, my name is Joe and in this course I'm going to take you through how to create photogrammetry models for films, TV and games. If you find this helpful please like and subscribe and hit that bell for more videos and don't forget to check out my website 3dassetlibrary.com for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. Also if you find this helpful please check out my Patreon below for exclusive content relating to photogrammetry games. So you're probably asking why I chose Metashape over the other alternative programs. Uh, this primarily has to do with ease of use that I found personally for me and um, I uh, don't have a lot of time to be doing uh, st stuff as I also do 3D modeling things like that. So I need to be I need to be able to do scan stuff quickly for clients, etc. Um, without um, you know take, eating into a lot of my time and having to faff around making masks, things like that. Um, also, I've used this before in a professional studio and. Um, I found it brilliant. The, the professional version of it, I found it brilliant, and it, you know, it really pushed me into um, wanting to learn more about uh, photo scanning and things like that. So yeah, um, I also found that the feature sets that it's got um, for the standard edition is generally probably what most people want. You know, it, obviously when you go into the professional edition here, you get things like you can scan huge great areas, and we just can sync up with geo data and all sorts of things like that. But for the standard edition. Um, it does exactly what we want and I believe what most people will want. Um, also the price, now if we go here, it's for the standard editions $179, which I think is incredibly reasonable. I'm one of these people that I, I like to buy um, buy things and know that is what I'm getting. Um, I don't want to be one of these like uh, reality capture, although it's brilliant. I don't want to be one of these where I could spend hours photo scanning something, get it right and then find out you know it could cost me $179 just for one scan you know I don't want that you know so it's, it's really down to what you you want to do but for me um, Metashape had the um, the best options it works pretty well 90% of the time out of the box without having to spend ages um, you know uh, doing stuff and it's got a lot of useful features with inside it that um, just just make scanning a lot more fun to do and a lot easier and a lot less time consuming so yeah that's really why i chose it but there's no right or wrong and um this course is as i say is to give you the foundations to be able to use in other softwares as well i'm going to try and avoid anything that is just unique to um, metashape so that you can apply these to other softwares whatever you you happen to purchase or whether you download something like meshroom um so yeah so it's really down to you so I'm going to quickly show you how to download Metashape. Um, obviously, if you know how to do all this, that's not just skip uh, this section um, because this is just to help people that don't know, you know, how to do these things. So we'll go to agisoft.com or agisoft or whatever whatever you decide to call it, and um, then we'll go to the downloads tab. And then what we'll do is we want the standard edition Windows. We'll click that. That will download. And. Um, it's a general program install procedure. There's nothing fancy about it, so it's not like um, you know some complicated thing. Um, so we just wait for this to download, and then what we want to do is double click it, and that is going to bring up this window here. And then what we want to do is just follow. Um, I, because I've already got it installed, you just need to click next, follow what it says on screen. You know. Um, decide where you want to install it etc and then that is uh, us downloaded and installed so let's move to the next section so what we want to do next is double click and open our program and you'll be presented with something a bit like this screen here um, we just want to do continue using meta shape standard in demo mode for the minute um, the 30-day trial I believe uh, allows exporting and um, but when we're for the first part of the tutorial, we're not going to be you know uh, using that. So we'll, for, we'll start in the demo mode here, and here is a quick look at the interface. Um, you've got your workspace over here. So this is where you add your chunks. Your chunks are essentially clusters of images, or uh, you know, I, I you could essentially have like loads of different chunks relevant to one scan. Um, but I prefer to just put you know, say my shoes. You know, I'd have shoe one. Shoe two, shoe three, shoe four, etc. Under a chunk name. Um, this also holds all of these features that we'll go to about like processing. This is the main things we'll be using processing. This section, exporting and importing. Um, but yeah, uh, 
obviously you've got your all these these features up here you've got things here that allow this for instance this button allows you to show all the cameras that are currently in the scan this will hide your object um etc i'm trying to say i'm trying to avoid too much of showing the interface for this program because i want to be able to like i've said before i want to be able to make it so that this can be applied to other other programs of your your own just to, you know with a few googles you know you can find what you want to do um down here this is where all the photos uh, come in and then you've got your mask button so this will show you what photos have been masked to show you what have been, uh, photos have depth maps applied etc so yeah this is just a very uh, look a quick look at the interface and as i say i want to avoid going into huge detail about this because again i want this to be used um, for any photo scanning software where possible so let's move on to actually doing our first scan <laughs> 